everybody, I'm back. I'm Meg from uh, Love and Stamps. This is Maker Mornings with Meg. And I am actually here live today. So uh, jury duty is over, yay. And I have a project to share with you with a Christmas Scotty stamp set. And we're actually gonna do Christmas today. But my uh, excitement over this is the punch, which coordinates. So the last project I showed you with Christmas Scotty uh, we did this fun card here with a peekaboo, and we used one of the other Scotties from the stamp set, so it didn't coordinate with punch, but we're going to use the punch today, and we are going to make a faux shaker card. So, the shaker card is faux because it is not like the kind with the foam around the edges, which is wonderful. I love them. I have one that we did together kind of recently. Hmm, you don't see it here. Anyway. We did that one recently, but one of the problems with making shaker cards is like, especially if you put little balls inside them, things like that, they uh, have a tendency to spill out and then they go on the floor. And I don't know about you, but those little tiny balls I think are worse than Legos for bare feet. So they're terrible. So the faux shaker card will never spill your guts out, which is a wonderful feature and is so much easier to do. No fussiness really at all. So with that, let us, I think I have <laughs> cardstock in my hair. So funny. Yeah, well, isn't that fun? Welcome back to the studio. Anyway, I'm actually here live if you're just jumping in. I, I, jury duty is over, so. All right, I'm gonna flip my camera down and we will uh, take a look here at our, our cards. So like I said, um, this is the feature for this month with the uh, Love and Stamps card tutorials. And the pieces that I do for that each month feature a stamp set and a series of supplies that can be mixed and matched to make a variety of projects. So these cards this month are going to feature um, these four cards. They're kind of actually almost monochromatic with the red and green are going to go together. But today we're going to feature the balmy blue. Here, get these a little closer. Uh, we're going to use balmy blue, so I'm going to set these aside. And we are going to start um, here with our pieces. We're also featuring the Gingham Cottage cards, or designer series paper. Um, here are those colors. You see lots and lots of great possibilities with these. Um, they feature this sort of selection of colors. And the um, sides are, uh, most of them are the same color on both sides. So they give you lots and lots of possibilities. So I've got this black and white one here. I love this open piece here. And this is cut to three by four, which is really an efficient size for using your designer series paper. If you think about it, a 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper can be cut into three strips and then into four sections and that will give you 12 pieces and no waste. So it's a great way to um, make the most of your paper. And so let's go ahead and start with this one here. I'm gonna use my Balmy Blue uh, ink pad and I am going to use um, our snowflake stamp. So, for our snowflakes, we are going to stamp um, some spaces here in the background. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in here um, behind some of these. I'm gonna turn our stamp a little bit so it's not exactly the same in all of our windows, but honestly, it's gonna get lost in the background, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We'll put one up there, all right. So we have this background here, and then we're gonna need a Scotty dog to go with this. So let me grab some uh, cardstock here to do our stamping. I've got my Memento Black. It is my favorite black pad of all times. If you don't have a good black pad, um, and make sure that you add this one to your list. So the supplies for our project today, as well as all of the projects for um, the November tutorials are available uh, in the link in the video description. So you can check out where um, where you can order those. So here is our very sweet Scotty dog and through the magic of punches, I love them because they are so speedy. Um, I'm going to always use my Stampin' Up! punches upside down and slide in here. Now, a lot of times people have, uh, they want to like turn their, turn their punch this way, it's just so much easier to see what's going on. And then they want to set it on the table and try to put their paper in and just punch like this. I find that's a really inexact way to get a, a match on your punch. So um, that being said, if you're not strong enough to complete this punch with one hand, I get that. 
um, especially repeated punching. So here's my strategy. I slide my paper in, I pinch it just a little bit with my right hand. You switch hands if you're left. So just a little bit so that it's not gonna fall out. And then I take both hands and just use the both hands to punch. And then I get a really nice um, image punched right there, okay? So think about that. If you, uh, I love punches because they're so speedy. Uh, so I'm gonna add our bow here. So same thing, I'm gonna slide my, slide my punch in, get it centered, just pinch it to hold it, and then go ahead and uh, punch it the rest of the way to get our, our piece done, okay? All right, so let's set that aside. So we have here our Scotty and his little bow. Let's go ahead and put the bow on him. Um, I love the mini Stampin' Dimensionals for size with this bow. You probably can squeeze a, a full size one on there, but you don't have to work at it if you are doing this. So let's um, go ahead and put our bow on. Okay, so there's our bow. And he is going to need um, another piece of color behind him. Now you guys know um, from watching my videos that when the Stampin' Up! Um, Stampin' Up! colors are a really great perk because when you take the uh, matching cardstock to the ink and slide it underneath there, like, ding, it's just perfect, okay? So this piece is cut uh, to three and a quarter by four and a quarter plus a smidge, um, but three and a quarter by four and a quarter works great. So I'm going to slide that under there. And I love how the color um, of the cardstock coordinating perfectly brings out the blue and his bow and or her, and the blue in the snowflakes, all right? Now we need to give our Scotty a place to stand, right? I'm not a big fan of floating um, creatures. So I have the dies here from the Stylish Shapes dies, which I uh, highly recommend as a tool. And I love this banner size. We're gonna go ahead and slide it here, um, but just a little bit off because it, it's not gonna fit all across there. So through the magic of television, I've got one punched already, or die cut already actually. And we're gonna put our greeting on there. And I like the punny one for the front. May your days be furry and bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one in our balmy, um, balmy blue and stamp on there. A, another great feature of uh, photopolymer stamps. You can see what you are doing to keep things straight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sort of check my size and trim this. Now, usually I would put something like this on dimensionals, but because we're gonna add in a bunch of sequins and stuff for our fun shaker card, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this flat so that it, it doesn't uh, get things trapped behind it quite as much. And then I'm gonna move our dog to the side here to balance. You could put it in the center, but I honestly think, oh, sorry. Um, I honestly find that it's a little bit better to the side. So let's put a couple of dimensionals under our little um, canine friend and I know that's way more than I would usually use. Uh, I don't know why, I just felt like he needed, I don't know, maybe he's cute and I'm afraid he's gonna like run off somewhere, so. All right, stay here, puppy. All right, so now we are coming to the guts of our shaker card, and hello to everybody. Hey, Jennifer and Kelly, happy pre-Friday, and Doris and Cheryl and, and everybody who's on there who hasn't said hi yet, so make sure you say hi if you're, if you're here, and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the shaker card part of this. So I have here a clear envelope. And if you've never gotten the Stampin' Up! Clear envelopes before, um, they are just the ideal size for this kind of card. And they have this sticky um, element here. So uh, the sticky closure on them can be used to make it easy to do a shaker card. So I'm gonna slide this in. You'll notice that four and a quarter is sized um, here to fit in our envelope. And then I'm gonna fold this around to the back and take a look at it. So right here, you can see that our flap is just a little bit too much off of the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that before we get the, the goose stuff inside, the beads and the whatnot. And you can use your paper trimmers, honestly easier, but scissors are what I have handy here. So I've got that trimmed away, and then I am going to um, eventually seal this. now. I really like there to be a tight seal right on this side also, so that no um, no goodies can fall to the back side of your shaker. So I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of tear tape across here. Uh, I'm not gonna seal it yet, but that's gonna help to get this crease really tight here on the back here so that 
our glitter stays on the front of our cute card where we want it. Now, what to put inside this darling card. I have a um, card that was sent to me by my friend, um, Lindsay Mann. She's a demonstrator in Edmonton. And she's doing this shaker card here. She used these um, beads, which are from the main catalog, and the Yeti stamp set. Like, seriously, isn't that darling? Um, so love, love, love this. And the, we are going to use the uh, Sparkle and Shine sequin assortment, which I feel like is perfect for Christmas. It's got these little stars, um, lots of, I don't know how sparkle and shiny it is uh, on the video. Hopefully very sparkly and shiny. It is very sparkly and shiny in person. So I'm going to go ahead and open my card. Now I want to make sure all my glitter goes onto the front. So I'm going to set it this way and I'm just going to dump a bunch in there. Like as much or as little as you want. That was a lot, but that's okay. And then I'm going to refrain from shaking it before I get it sealed up, okay? Because we want all of our glitter to stay on the front. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to pretend that one star is not there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open the back adhesive and fold this tightly across there. And then our um, clear envelope flap is going to fold the rest of that way. Okay, so now... We have a cute little shaker card with a lot, holy moly, of sprinkles inside it. So you can have them like little snow, you can have them just as fun pieces, but none of them are gonna spill out. You do not have to worry about finding these on your floor or loose in the envelope or anything like that. So it's really great as a faux shaker card. So that's gonna be the front of ours and I'm gonna show you how to attach it. We're gonna add one more embellishment in a minute, but let's look at the inside of our card. I love the way this black cardstock sets off and brings out the black in the background in our dog, but then we need a element to go inside. Thanks, Louise. Um, isn't this a great card? I'm, I think Louise was talking about uh, Lindsay's card. Uh, so definitely super cute and I love the colors too. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and uh, stamp here on the inside. Now other elements in the stamp set, this cute ribbon, um, more dogs, these little presents. So we're gonna go ahead and use um, some of these other elements here on our card because we can. So I'm gonna pop this ribbon down here at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna use the straight up Merry Christmas greetings and I'm gonna ink those here um, with our memento black and pop this up here. And then we're gonna add one more of these little um, pieces here, which is this little present. Uh, so I didn't want you to lose this one. It's really easy to miss in a stamp set because it's just not super exciting on the box, but it is darling and can be used so many places. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this. And again, with photopolymer, it's really relatively easy to get those pieces lined up. If you find that you have trouble, um, Kind of getting them lined up. Uh, let's. I'll show you some some tips here. I'll do it a couple of times. So there's a couple little uh, presents there. And what I do with my second element is I just sort of go slow and get closer and closer, and adjust my position as I go. And the closer you get, so that last little drop that I'm making is just like a teeny fraction of an inch. Um, is the best guide for making it line up. So if I hold my stamp like way up here and I just try and go from like an inch away and go bam, um, it's really hard to get it exact. So my strategy is to get it as close as possible and then tap down that last little bit because you know you have a better chance of having it fairly well lined up. All right, let's try not to do inky fingers. Oh, I failed. Oh, but I get a chance to bring out my on stage. Uh, my onstage chamois, which is still relatively clean. You can see the stamps that I've been using lately. Um, that's because this is one of four cards that I'll be sharing during the month of November using the Scotty Dogs. So, all right, I'm gonna flip this over. And actually, I'll tell you now that for the Scotty Dogs, uh, this is, oh no, that's not true. I have one more Christmas card to share with you, and then the other one is non-Christmas. So. Don't be thinking to yourself that um, Scotty Dog is, really, is uh, specific to Christmas at all. And definitely also the Gingham Cottage paper. So we're getting near the end of the catalog. So I don't think that any of these things are on the low inventory list, but do be aware 
that as we approach the end of the seasonal catalogs, the minis, um, sometimes things can sell out and they, they don't get restocked because there's just not time. So if there's things that you want, don't wait until the last minute because sometimes uh, they go away. Always smush from the back side. There's a lot of smushing. Look at, there's our little shaky, our little shaky guys. Um, okay, so we're gonna flip this to the inside and then like I said, I have one more embellishment for the front that's part of our um, suite that uh, I've curated for you. I love looking at the catalog and using my um, stamping experience to sort of put together a set of supplies so that you can make a whole bunch of projects together and know that you'll have lots of good ideas. So um, in this collated, uh, curated suite, um, a suite by Loven Stamps, not a catalog suite. Um, I've also added the black matte dots and we use them on this peekaboo card here, um, right here to accent our greeting. So just on the front. And so for this one, I'm going to sort of use them again to accent our greeting. And I'm gonna put them on the outside of our um, shaker just to sort of decorate the outside and make it sort of continuous. So I'm gonna do my slide and stick and I'm gonna pop a couple, so slide and stick. I'm just gonna pop a couple right down there on the outside um, and it kind of brings the magic um, out of the card just a little bit so you can actually have something kind of cool and tactile as part of your project, so. All right, guys. Aw, thanks. I'm glad you guys like this one. Hey, Terry and Tanya. Um, the cards for these are available, um, the tutorials for these are available as a PDF. Uh, so you'll see the videos here, I always post them. Um, but the PDFs are available for free if you place any size order in my store during the month of um, November. Or if you um, are a demonstrator already um, and you're not in my group, because in my group you're gonna get these tutorials. Um, but if you're a demonstrator already or you have another demonstrator that you work with and you'd still like the tutorials, you can get them from the Love and Stamps Card Mart on Etsy. Um, and those tutorials are available now. So um, for these projects and many, many others. So if you're looking for Thanksgiving projects or um, it's a, you know to use some things that you have to make some cute treats, um, there's some great ones on the Love and Stamps Card Mart there. Otherwise, uh, definitely, um, you know, figure out if there's something that you need for this month to get these for free. So, uh, link is in the video description for ordering and I would be happy to help you with any questions or if you're just getting started and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know where to begin. Um, I would be very happy to help you get started, um, with sort of figuring out what you need and, and what would be the most useful to you. So, cause I want you to use what you have and have a good time with your stamping. Um, and as a fun project, I really think that these little Scotty Dog Shaker cards um, or any faux shaker card are a real, um, a real treat. So, all right, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I will be back um, not on Thursday because that is Thanksgiving, uh, but uh, plan to tune in on Friday morning at 9:30 um, a.m. Central Time for a Friday edition of Maker Mornings with Meg, and then again uh, Tuesday, Thursday next week because I am back in the office. So. Um, Thanks for uh, everyone who serves our civic duty by serving on jury duty at one time or another. So, all right, guys, have a super fabulous day, a wonderful holiday, and I will look forward to seeing you on Friday and again next week. So happy stamping, everybody.